this meeting is being recorded. All right. Yeah. Jess, do you want to kick it off? In with anything? I would love to. So I'm Jessica. I am um, <laughs> actually have a new a sort of new title here at Shortstack. I am a client relations strategist. And I'm going to be working with Adam now officially on the sales team. So I'll hopefully be talking a little bit more with um, some of our short stack users, hopefully including you all. So I'm really excited to be doing that. And I am joined today by my now uh, colleague, coworker, partner in crime, Adam. Hey, everybody. I am recognize quite a few of your names, so I'm sure we've talked before. Really excited to talk about this new template that we have today. It's going to be pretty rad. Um, should go fairly quick. I mean, it's it's a great template, lots of options, uh, but we approached it with kind of a, a simplistic approach. So um, won't be hard to go over it. And then after the video, I'm going to go over it myself, building it live while we're on the webinar. And that'll give you guys a great opportunity to ask questions or say, um, how awesome that concert poster behind Jessica is, whatever you want to say. Um, so with that, do uh, you want me to get the video started, Jessica? Uh, yeah. If, yeah. Do you need the link to it? Nope. Got it right here. Got it. Okay. The points for actions template is one of the few templates that we built purely based on popular demand. It's a powerful template that can help you meet multiple marketing goals all from one giveaway. Participants will fill in a simple form and then complete actions such as visiting a website or watching a video to earn extra chances to win. Before we dive into all the ways that you can use the Points for Actions template to hit your marketing goals, we need to understand how this template actually works. There's a common misconception about Points for Actions that we're going to dispel right here. The way that Points for Actions works is by awarding the points upon link click. So, for example, if you offer points for following your profile on Instagram, the points are awarded when this button is clicked and your profile page is open, not when the participant actually clicks follow. If you're concerned that you can't verify whether your Instagram profile or other social media profile was actually followed or not, don't be. I'll go over why this template will still help you grow your following and even help you do it in a healthier way. But we want to be really transparent about how this template functions so that you can create your actions accordingly. There is huge potential in this template to help your business hit some of its marketing goals. So we'll go through some example actions and talk about the benefits of each. The first action I want to talk about are all of these follow us actions on social media. For example, follow us on Instagram, on Pinterest, Twitter, and so forth. Although we know that clicking this button is what actually awards the points and not clicking the follow button, there's still huge value in including these actions in your giveaway. For starters, these follow us actions are going to help you grow your following. Whether participants are aware how and when the points are awarded won't really matter for the majority of those participating in your giveaway. Odds are that when they click the action button and your profile page opens, they'll click the follow button. Additionally, building a following isn't really about quantity, it's more about quality. So even though there isn't a way to be 100% sure that every single person clicking this button is also clicking the follow button, if you've promoted your giveaway to your target audience, and if you're offering a good prize that would appeal to that target audience, those who click to earn the follow us points are likely inspired to follow your social media profiles anyway, helping you build your following the correct way. And you probably noticed this Facebook action up here. It, it doesn't say to actually follow their page, just to visit it. That's because incentivizing follows is strictly prohibited on Facebook. But for the same reasons that I mentioned before, you're probably going to get some organic followers anyway. Moving on. Another great action that you can incentivize is to retweet one of your tweets. This is a great strategy for getting a snippet of information, an announcement, or anything else that you like to tweet, getting that in front of people beyond your usual base of followers. Think about it. When you tweet something out, your followers see it. But when you get others to retweet it, all of their followers are now seeing it, thusly compounding your reach. Next, if you're looking to boost traffic to your website, a landing page, or even an online store, the Points for Actions template is going to work great for this. You may want to drive traffic if you've recently launched a new product, or maybe you just revamped your website. 
This is just a great way to get lots of eyeballs on it. Another great action you can include is to ask for subscribes on your YouTube channel. If you're regularly producing YouTube content, incentivizing subscribers is going to help you get more views on your videos. Which brings us to the next action, asking participants to watch a video. Video marketing is essential these days because of how effective it is. If you have a specific video that you'd love to get in front of more viewers, you can incentivize views on that one video. In this action, the points will only be awarded when the video has finished playing. The participants can't scrub through it or hit stop before it's over if they want to earn those points. They have to watch the whole thing, which is actually going to help your video's ranking in YouTube's algorithm. Now that we've talked about how the template works, as well as some of the actions that you can include in your Points for Actions template, I'm going to hand it over to Adam, who's going to walk you through how to set this template up in ShortStack. All right. Thanks, Jess. Yeah. Uh, so to get started, and actually before I do that, if you guys have questions, just to reiterate, feel free to <clears throat> type that in the Q&A area of the Zoom toolbar. And <clears throat> sorry, um, me or Jess will be happy to answer those questions for you. And it can be related to this template or, you know, since you got us here, if it's a question about short stack in general, feel free to let us know. All right. So I'm going to create a new campaign. If you've never created a campaign with short stack before, when you do that, we are going to start with the template gallery. And the reason for that is our kind of motto with short stack or our, um, you know, our thought is flexibility is king. We want you to be able to do whatever you want, however you want, whenever you want. So <clears throat> with all of our templates, pick a template, and then you can change styling, you can add fields, you can change the layout. Uh, very few of our templates are, you know, locked down in the sense that, you know, there are certain things that have to remain the way that they are. But for the most part, you have complete flexibility to do what you want. And so that's why we start with our template gallery is we want you to find a template that matches what your approach is and or has some of the functionality that you're looking for. Now you might be saying, well, you know, if I start with a photo contest template, does that mean it has to be a photo contest template? Not at all. You can remove the photo upload portion of it. You can completely change it to whatever you want. So with that being said, let's go down to our points for actions template. And we're just gonna kind of go down the, the template road and you guys might see some stuff that you like, oh, I wanna come back and, and check those out. And you are welcome to do that. Um, so we, we kind of have two different templates going on here. We have the earn extra points giveaway and then a points for actions giveaway. This particular webinar we have going on right now, we're talking about the points for actions giveaway template. So I'm gonna hover over this and I'm gonna say, use this template give it a name. So we'll just say points for actions webinar uh, example. Names are imperative, especially if you're going to be a heavy user of short stack. Um, you know, naming is going to make it much easier for you to go and find whatever it is you were working on before, whether it's picking a winner, exporting entries, making updates, whatever it might be. Naming is key. Then uh, with most of our templates, we provide you a handy dandy template video uh, made by our uh, fantastic colleague, Jessica. Um, so she's, she is our, our video queen amongst other fantastic things. Uh, so we got our template here. Feel free at any time to check out those videos. And we have more videos on youtube.com slash short stack lab. Um, yeah. So we're not going to watch the video because we're, you know, we're doing it live. So I'm going to close that. All right. So this is the template. Uh, what you see here in the middle, this is exactly how your campaign is going to look if you published it right now. Um, I'm just going to jump the gun a little bit and going to go ahead and publish. So all you have to do is come up here and say publish campaign. We're going to give you two options. You can embed it onto your website. That's through an iframe. So if you already have a website, like let's say... We want to put something on shortstack.com. You can do that. And to give you a quick example of what an embedded campaign can look like, let's go to shortstack.com. We just updated our homepage and we have put on 
many embedded examples of different features. So this campaign you see right here, the spin the reel, that's embedded onto our website. It looks seamless and that's the point. We, we wanna make sure that you can place a campaign onto your website and make it look like it's actually part of it. And the way you design it will make um, that look and feel more seamless with your site. So you can put it right on your website and you're all set. The other option, <clears throat> all right, zoom, go away. You're in my way, can't click on, there we go. The other option would be to set up a landing page. So go to the landing page route, we'll give you a URL. You could even do a custom one if you want, hit publish and you're all set. So we got your campaign live. Now you can continue to work on it even after it's live, that's not a problem. Um, to work on a campaign, you will go into the builder like I am and you'll come up here and select edit on and now you can hover over the different areas of the campaign and they light up. So this is how you decide uh, what elements you wanna change. If they light up, that in itself is a widget and it's drag and drop. However, I will stipulate that this particular campaign uh, template, um, we encourage you to not you know, move this around too much. Uh, you know, we kind of have a structure going here. so. Uh, it's just best practice, <coughs> excuse me, best practice to keep this layout the way it is. Um, but, you know, let's say I, let's go back up here. Let's say I want to change this text right here. So step one, fill out the form to be entered. You know, I, I'm not much of a step person, so I want to change that. Just click the pencil icon that opens up the settings. And then we can say um, to get started. I can literally type whatever I want, hit save and exit, and you're all set. Um, and it'll automatically update. And you might be saying, well, you know, your campaign's live, but that update's not on there. You're absolutely right. All you have to do is come up here, hit publish changes, and we will update the live campaign, whether it's embedded on your website or a landing page, doesn't matter. Uh, and we won't change the URL. We won't change the embed code. So you don't have to worry about like, oh no, I have to go make an update on the site itself. Not at all. All we do is update the content, how it lives on your website will not change. Um, now let's say you want your form to be different. You wanna ask for more information, or maybe you wanna make it a photo upload contest as well. Click the design form icon. This opens up the form designer. Uh, over here on the left-hand side are the standard fields, name, age, address, phone number, um, country, city, state, zip, if you want to turn this into a, a media type of contest, just grab the upload field, move it to wherever you want on your form. And now you have the ability to collect JPEGs, PNGs, GIFs, PDFs, and videos from your participants. You can decide what type of file you want. I uh, just scroll down here on the right hand side and you'll see all the different options. I wanna make it just a photo upload. So I'll turn off GIF and then right here we have video, PDF. We can also do multiple submissions. You could say, hey, you can upload up to two, two videos or two images, uh, or you could just set it to one, it's up to you. Um, and to let you in on a little secret, well, it's not so much a secret, but just something else point related. You can add points to your fields. So if you wanted to, let's say, make this upload field not required, but you wanna reward or you wanna incentivize people to provide you that information, provide you an image or a video, you could come down to the bottom area and where it says field points, just put in you know, five. So now if I upload an image, I get five points added to my entry. And then after I fill out the form, all of those other available points that we're gonna talk about in just a second, will also be there for me to add more points to my entry. And you might be wondering, well, are points the same thing as extra entries when it comes to how short stack views them? And yes, um, you know, we're not gonna duplicate <coughs> a person's entry five times because they have five points. You don't need five of the same email addresses in your list. We're just gonna take the original entry that I made and then because I upload an image, I get five points. And then because I take all the other actions after I fill out the form, then those additional points will be added to my entry. 
And then we have a random selection tool so you can randomly pick a winner and we'll take into account how many points they have. That's when we say, oh, you have five points. That's basically like five more raffle tickets in the jar. All right. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So after you set up your form, you're happy with what you're asking, click save and exit, and that is all set. All right, let's get down to step two. Complete the actions below to earn the entry points. So over here on the edit widget panel, if I scroll down, you'll see you know, your different options. Uh, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, retweet, so on and so forth. It's up to you guys on, you know, what you want to do. You know, maybe you're not on Pinterest. And so what I'll do is I'll go into the visibility and I typically like to just turn things off. I don't like to just delete it all together. That way, you know, if I change my mind, I'm like, you know what? We just, we're rocking Pinterest again. We want to add Pinterest. It's there. You can easily turn it back on. You don't have to figure out, oh no, how do I get it to look nice right in that spot again with you know the correct column widths and, and everything. You know, of course, if you did delete it, you want to add it back in, you could reach out to us. But why not just set it to inactive? It's not going to bother anybody. It's just going to sit there waiting for you to use it again next time. Then if you want to make updates, you know, obviously you want to change these buttons so they link to the proper Facebook page or whatever it might be then click the edit button, <coughs> excuse me, I'm trying to get over a cough. And right here, you see that it is showing facebook.com slash short stack lab. You know, if you wanna bring more attention to our Facebook page, then thank you, we appreciate it. But I'm sure you wanna change that to your own Facebook page. So I'll click the pencil icon and then we can come right here and uh, you know, let's say it's Coca-Cola. I don't even know if that's the right URL. We'll just say it is. And if you want to change the link text, cause you know, maybe you're not gonna give them five points. Maybe you're like, you know what? We're gonna go crazy and we're gonna say, you get a hundred points if you check out our Facebook page. So change that up here so they know how many points you are going to give them. And then come down here where it says points for actions and change this points to award to a hundred. So to recap what I've done here, let's hit save link again, save and exit. I want to change our Facebook page area. I wanna change that button so it links to the correct Facebook page and I wanna change the point count. So all I had to do is you hover over the button, click the pencil icon. You'll see right here, this is the button how it's set up currently. Click the pencil icon again. <clears throat> and from top to bottom, you have link text. So this, to recap, is telling you how many points are available if someone clicks on it. The URL is where they're gonna go if they click on the button. And then points for actions, I wanna set that to 100 because I'm telling them they get 100 points. I better make sure that I'm actually going to give them 100 points. Another little thing to be aware of is right here, by default, we have it set to open link in a new window. Don't change that. Because if you were to change it and say opens up in the same window, now they have left the campaign altogether. And if they were to go back, they have to start over. Always do an open new window. That way their session doesn't end. We're still accruing their points and they don't have to fill out the form again. So save link, save and exit. And so you just go through and update each of that. So click the buttons and you could change the text if you want. So instead of saying retweet our tweet, it could be something completely different. You know, if you want to say, I want people to go to our Shopify store, I could say visit our Shopify store. Hit save and exit. And then if you have a little icon that you want to change right over here, feel free to do that. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. And then again, change that little button. So you're linking to Shopify and you're doing whatever points it is that you want. Speaking of points, we will show you how many points you have as you're clicking these buttons. That happens right up here under total points. So if I click on this, let's try that again. Come on.
little technical difficulty. We're just gonna refresh and try this again. While we're doing that, I see there's a QA. and a uh, Carlos asks, can you incentivize that they give you a check-in within Facebook? Technically, you can say whatever you want. You know, if you want to say, um, comment on this post and you're, you're linked to the post or in your situation, uh, check in on Facebook. Whatever you want them to do is happening outside of Facebook. We can't see that they're actually checking in. We can't see that they actually retweeted, so on and so forth. All we know is they clicked on that button that I'll show you here again. And um, that's when we give them the points. Now, people, you know, for the most part, inherently, you know, um, rule followers, you know, if they see steps and they're like, okay, it's like a Lego book. Have you ever made Legos? Like step one, put these Legos here. Step two, put those Legos here. Or if you're building anything for that matter. And so the approach that we take here of step one, fill out the form. They're going to do that. And then step two, they're going to see all these options. And if they see, you know, follow us on Instagram. I click that button. It takes me to Instagram. And if I don't know any better, I just think like, yes, I actually have to follow this page to get those points. I'm going to hit follow. I'm going to come back. And then I see that I got my points. Yes, some people will figure out that they don't have to do what you're asking them to do, but you'll still see an uptick, whether it's in website views, video plays, retweets, following on Twitter, whatever it is you're asking them to do. So with regard to your check-in, you can, absolutely. You just want to make sure that that button that you've set up is going to send them to where they can actually do it. Don't make them jump through hoops or they're just going to lose interest at that point. Um, so this total points area up here, you'll want to leave it alone for the most part. Um, we have some code in place that will update this, this number. I mean, if you don't want to show people how many points they have, then you can just delete it if you'd like. But if you want to show it, I would say just to make sure nothing gets broken, if you will, just leave it as is. And then we uh, everything we have done in this template will update that accordingly. Hey, Adam. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I think we have some. Adam, are you there? I am. Oh, I think you froze. I think you froze. Here, hold on. We're gonna we're gonna just check with a couple colleagues who are watching the video to make sure that we can all see each other. Um. Jane, are you able to still see me or hear me? Or anyone else for that matter? All right, Amy can still see me. Jess, can you see me? Can you hear me? Yeah, uh, I just got kicked off, but it, but Zoom restarted itself. So I'm back. Hopefully everyone else is here too. Looks like it. Uh, Let's see, we're gonna pick on someone. Uh, Kimberly, are you able to see us and hear us? If so, feel free to put that in the Q&A and let us know. She can't, she raised her hand. All right. All right, Kimberly, high five. Thank Adam, you. Adam, I was gonna mention that there is a question. It got moved over to answered. I'm not sure how that happened, but. It was um, Carlos. I think you yeah. might've, that's when I was cutting out. I, I, I was able to answer him live. Perfect, okay. Thank you though. I appreciate uh, looking out for that. You bet. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's, that's basically it. You just, you go through, update whatever you want. You can add whatever you want to. Um, of course we can't stop you from doing things that maybe go against certain policies. You know, for instance, I would not recommend saying on this Facebook portion, like, like us on Facebook for a hundred points, because you can't incentivize or require people to like your Facebook page or Facebook will slap your hand. Um, so Recommended, don't do it. We can't stop you, but don't do it. <laughs> we'd, we'd, we'd rather you not get your hand slapped by Facebook because uh, whatever they do, it's very inconsistent. Sometimes it's nothing, sometimes it's a lot. Um, I've seen people get their Facebook page shut down. So just be careful. Um, yeah, and other than that, a little bit more about short stack. If you're running something like this, but then you see another feature that we have and you're like, man, they got quizzes. 
I'd love a quiz on my website, but I wonder if I can do you know, a quiz and a points for actions at the same time. Uh, the answer is yes. Um, we allow you to run as much as you want with one short stack account. <clears throat> um, a little bit of background on us. We, we used to be an agency in the early 2000s. So we understand that it, it's, it's not very fun to have to pay for one service multiple times for all the different things you want to do. That's why you could pay one fee monthly or annual, and then you can rock and roll as much stuff as you want while you're using short stack. Um, with that, does anybody have any other questions, curiosities, want to tell us what the weather's like where you're living, anything, anything you want to share with us? I'll share something, Adam, while we're waiting for questions to roll in. I just wanted to mention that this template is available on all of our paid plans. So there are templates that aren't available on all of our paid plans. Most of them are, I believe, and this one is as well. And our, if you have not looked at our pricing, it starts at $99 a month and you can use this for as long as you want. You can even pause your account if you're on a monthly plan for up to 10 months at a time. You can reactivate early if need be. And then you can also go on an annual approach if you know you're going to, you know, rock and roll campaigns monthly, all day long. The annual plans will save you roughly 20% over the monthly costs in that 12 month span. Um, well, I, we must have hit it out of the park, Jessica, because <laughs> no, no, no questions are coming in. All right. Um, before we let everyone go, make sure you uh, click on the chat icon at the bottom and enter your name and info to get a um, to be entered in our drawing to win a shirt. Yes, please do so. And uh, oh, hey, Kimberly just hit me with a question. If you want to run a contest with the addition of points for actions, would you recommend using points for actions template like you showed and then adding other items or vice versa? Mm -hmm. My recommendation because of us already having set up this template in this kind of format that seems to be pretty universal is to start with this template and then add what you want to it. Um, but it's certainly a preference. And this particular template, it doesn't, <coughs> excuse me, it doesn't really have a lot to it that would be difficult to recreate other than this vertical layout that you see with the three columns and it's very symmetrical meaning you know everything is exactly the same with regard to spacing and layout what have you but i would say you could go either way with it if you're just getting started with short stack i think it's going to be easier to start with the points uh, for actions template and then make it what you want it to be after that um yeah Hopefully that answered your question. Um, any, any other questions? Anything at all? And as a reminder, when it does come to questions, we have live chat, um, typically Monday through Friday. And then we have email support seven days a week. And, you know, I mentioned in the beginning of the webinar that our kind of philosophy is flexibility is king with you know what you can do. Our other philosophy is customer service. We try to be uh, as available as possible to answer your questions, um, whether it's you know you asking us those questions via live chat or email, or you can watch any of our videos. We have help documentation, we have guides, we have a short stack university. We strive to provide as many resources as possible for anyone that just wants to ask questions straight up, or if you're a self-learner, go-getter, I just want to get in and figure it out myself. We cater to everybody. All right. Well, I, uh, you know, thank you everybody for joining us today. Yeah, uh, thanks. I don't, do we, do we have one planned for next month, Jessica? Uh, not as of yet. We don't have a topic that we felt we, um, we don't have a topic for next month, so uh, but as soon as we have something to share with y'all, then you guys will be the first to know about our next upcoming training. So we'll keep you in Thank the loop. All right. Well, uh, Jessica, it was a great time. Thank you so much for the video. 
and just everything you bring to the table. You're welcome. It's always a great time. All right. Everybody, thank you so much. And we hope you have a great rest of your day and a fantastic weekend. Bye.